Piscati. I'm a 19 year old Tyler student. I've been asked to do, to kind of explain one of my hobbies, which is making wooden spoons, um, which I guess is not the most common pastime for someone who isn't a 45 year old old man. I don't know, but yeah. I wouldn't say it's complicated. I think everyone understands essentially what making a spoon with a spoon is. It's a kind of a hollow bit here and a long skinny bit here. That's the essentials. So for a spoon to actually function very well, it's not just perfectly flat. There needs to be a kind of bend and then going up because if, if you're just holding a stick and you're trying to eat like this, it's more awkward than if there's a bend. So generally to get that you would use an axe or like a or just like a fucking machete. But since I'm in a tiny dorm and I don't want to make people fear for their lives by bringing an axe in, I just um, suck it up and sometimes use a copping saw, which is this. Um, it looks scarier than it is. It's literally just so you can make curves. Why would you not want to know how something is made? Like, kind of, this is, it boggles my mind. Kind of, like, the human curiosity and seeing something and, re and realizing how much work went into it and just kind of the entire process, I think, is, it makes anything 10,000 times more enriching. Like, just think about the history of, like, random objects. Like, fucking salt shakers. Why are they shaped that way? What was the use of a salt shaker? Why... why do we... why can't we just have a little bowl of salt? Like, there's so much history behind all of these things. And, like, well, you can't possibly know all of it. I think it's so fascinating to just, like, think about it. And, like, look it up and, like, get answers. Um... But I also enjoy the how it's made videos, so this could all- I, I could just be the absolute minority here. Um, but yeah, I think that's also one of the reasons I enjoy making spoons, is because it's something so ordinary. But you don't- most people, like, it's, it's difficult to know how you do it. Like, how do they make pencils? I don't fucking know. There's some lead in there, sandwiched between some wood. Don't know why they're in an octagon. But yeah, I don't know. Do you feel, are you happy that I'm making this documentary to show how you make spoons? I am a little bit. I think it's just kind of, well, A, I can talk out of my ass and you can't tell me to stop. <laughs> um, but B, I think, I don't know. I think people like need to appreciate how difficult it is to make something by hand. is learning to just kind of go with the flow and not force myself to make art. Like, maybe force myself to practice, I suppose, like even if it's just like drawing lines on a paper or just kind of like doing this non-stop, like just shaving off little bits, because it keeps kind of the muscle memory there, but there's no pressure to create something. the mold making place and it has claimed about a third of my soul and okay yeah, right around here you start getting this noxious odor you viewer can't smell it but like kind of cloying plaster scent um right now we are in a secret undisclosed area shh, shh, shh. so you can't tell anyone about it um, 
And yeah, this is, this isn't super um, related to my, my plights as an artist, but I think it's just interesting. Kind of like this little space where there's all of the rejects and like the little, the messy shit about making art. This is my new mixtape. Hi, I'm Hooter the Owl, and I'm guilty of tax evasion. I think, like, um, just, like, seeing this is kind of putting it into perspective. Because, like, I look at this shit, I look at this stuff, and... Oh, my God. Oh, okay, wait. <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah, I look at this stuff, and I think, that's incredible. I could this is amazing. But, like, a professional ceramicist might see, like, Oh, that bit's uneven to that bit. I don't, the glaze isn't very good. It didn't set the way I wanted it to. And they're like, okay, dunk in the trash. I can make like five more of these things. And I, it shows like, perspe like perspective is everything. And kind of remembering that even if something you make doesn't turn out good, you made it and that's sometimes enough. Don't let your crown fall. Have you cut now?